Hi guys and welcome to our YouTube channel. Well, on today's episode, we'll be learning how to draw borderlines and title block. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ring the bell to get notified when we post new videos. For today's video, we'll be drawing that for today's the secondary schools from SS1 to SS3. This is how you have to draw your borderline and title block, okay? Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I'll get my ruler, I'll get my pencil, and get one of my set square. I'll be using just these three instruments to draw. So at the edges of our paper, okay, at our edge here, yeah, I'll measure 1 cm from the edge. 1 cm, 1 cm, okay. And then once I'm done, I will join those two points with a very straight line. This line should be straight and very, very long. Alright, now I also come here to measure 1 cm, okay, and 1 cm this way, so I'll join those two points, okay, and then elongate the line. The concept here is, I'm going to do the same thing for the four edges, 1, 1 cm and I'll draw, 1 cm and I'll draw, okay, this is First time you just will have drawn blah blah and title block. Okay, so for for this part of it. Alright. So I'm done. Okay. Now I'm done with our blah line. Now let's draw title block. Um, for our Nigerian standard here in our Nigerian school, we draw our title block here at the extreme, like at the right bottom part of our drawing sheet. Okay, so what's this way? Well, if we draw it here, you're not wrong. If we draw it here, you're not wrong. If we should draw it here, you're not wrong. But ideally, it's here that we we'll draw it, okay? For our system of upper education here in Nigeria. All right, so very quickly, how do we draw it? Now, there are different dimensions for our title block. It depends on how many parameters you're given, but for the basic title block in all secondary schools, this is what you're going to use. So for here, I'll use 5 cm, okay? 5 cm. And for this part now, I can say to use, ideally, it was also to use 12, okay? But it depends on how long your name is. If your name is a moderate level name, like it's just moderate, you can use 12. If your name is very short, like Joanne Philip. You can use 10 millimeter if your name is as long as let's say victory augustine mm. harry uh -huh, you can use 15. but if your name is as maybe just just know the scale with you, which your name for, uh, falls under so my name is not too bulky so i'll use 12. 12. all right having done that i'll see my ruler that way Get my set square, okay? Place it this way and draw a line straight. Alright. And this line should be of length 5 cm. 5 cm. So I'll clean the rest. I don't need them. Alright, so I'll join the two points together. Okay. Now to get our different partitions. I'll be using one one cm each. One one cm each. Okay, and the same thing too on this side one cm. All right. So I'll join two. The thick lines, please. All right. Now I'll measure 3 cm from this beginning part, from this part, I'll measure 3 cm. Okay, place my set square this way and then carry it up. Alright. So having done that, now we need to draw our lettering lines, the line that will guide us in drawing our letters or in filling this column. Alright, so the first we need or the first measurement we're gonna use is 
zero point two, zero point five, okay, and zero point eight. Same thing too for this part. Zero point two, zero point five, zero point eight. Continue zero point two, zero point five, zero point eight. Point two, point five, point eight. Point two, point five, and point eight. All right. So whatever I did here, I also do it on this side. Okay, sorry. So I did I did the same thing on this other side. Now after when I'm done that, I will start joining these um, lines together or the points together with a faint line. It's not a thick line, a faint line. Okay. Point five to point five. Point two to point two. Point eight to point eight. All right. So I do that till I am done. So. I've done this now. We want to later. Now you will you need five, five, okay, five. Um, let's call this specification so fill in these five columns. Now the first thing that should be there is your name, okay. Then we have your class, then your subject. Then if you are using a skill in the diagram, like if, if you are skilled in the diagram, you can indicate the skill on the title block, and then your date, okay, name, class subject skill and dates these are the five basic things that need to be added in this title block all right so now this is how you will later them if you this literal lines from the first okay All right, so name, class, subject, skill, and date. These are the five basic things that need to be added to our title block. All right, guys, so this is how the paper should look like after drawing a borderline and your title block. All right, thank you for watching this video. Please, if you learn from this video, drop or give us a thumbs up and then comment on the comments on this video. Ask questions when you have questions in the comments on this video. And then endeavor to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ring the bell so you can find when I post new and exciting videos. Alright, see you next episode.